Sir. Right. Today we are going to talk about one more B complex vitamin, the last one of it. Because I think we have talked about most of the others. And the one that is left, that has been left over, is uh, pentothenic acid. It's called pentothenic acid. Pentothenic acid. This is called vitamin B5. Vitamin B5. Pentothenic acid. Now, it consists of two parts. Pentoic acid and beta alanine. This is pentothenic acid. Well, so this one is pentothenic acid. Plus, but if it is attached to thio ethanol amine. which comes from cysteine and if it is attached on the other side to phosphate another phosphate called as pyrophosphate And if this is attached to ribose and if this is attached to adenine. Along with a phosphate group over here, then the whole compound is called coenzyme A. This is coenzyme A. This is coenzyme A. This is called coenzyme A. This one is pentothenic acid. This one. And attached to thioethanolamine on this side, a pyrophosphate on this side, and phosphate over here and adenosine group on this side in the form of adenosine monophosphate in fact. So this forms coenzyme A. It's a high energy compound. High energy compound. It can be written also as H S C O A. This is coenzyme A. In the formation of coenzyme A, you have got one pentothenic acid, two you have got cysteine, it provides thioethanolamine, and then you have got this, the whole of it as adenosine monophosphate. Also, 
there are four molecules of ATP involved. <coughs> one molecule of ATP is used over here, ATP. One molecule is used over here, ATP. One molecule over here, molecule ATP. And one molecule over here. So four molecules of ATP are involved. This is pentoic acid. Now this is pentoic acid. You have got a methyl group here. And this one over here is beta alanine. And this one over here is thioethanolamine. This is COO. And this one over here is thioethanolamine. This is pentothenic acid attached to thioethanolamine on one side, attached to a phosphate group. Both these reactions require ATP, so two ATPs involved. And the next one is in the form of AMP, that is adenosine monophosphate. We got involvement of one more molecule of ATP, and the last one over here. Because if this ATP is not there, that is D phospho coenzyme. But now and the compound is ready. The fourth phosphate over here, and you call it as coenzyme A. It is written as HSCOA. Coenzyme A. Now what is the uh, source of pentothenic acid itself? It is widely distributed. This is widely distributed in animal and plant genes. Uh, liver, egg yolk, etc. etc. Widely distributed. Pentothenic acid is coenzyme A. Now, what is the metabolic reactions? The importance of vitamin P5, pentothenic acid. One, well, it is important in metabolism. Metabolism. Well, in carbohydrate metabolism. In carbohydrates metabolism, it is involved in conversion of pyruvic acid to acetyl CoA. The enzyme is pyruvate dehydrogenase, right? And there are five coenzymes, five. Coenzymes. Out of the five coenzymes, four are vitamins. That is vitamin 
is thiamine, B1, pentothenic acid, in the form of coenzyme A, riboflavin in the form of FAD nicotinic acid in the form of NAD conversion of pyruvic acid to acetyl CoA so you've got Four vitamins, thiamine, pentothenic acid, riboflavin, and nicotinic acid. Thiamine in the form of thiamine pyrophosphate. Pentothenic acid in the form of coenzyme A. So it's such an important reaction. Riboflavin in the form of flavonoidine dinucleotide. And nicotinic acid in the form of NAD. These are all involved in this. And the enzyme is pyruvate dehydrate. Well, the fifth factor is, the fifth one is, fifth one is lipoic acid. That is sulfur containing. Right. We have got another reaction in citric acid cycle. In the conversion of Alpha keto glutaric acid or alpha keto glutarate to succinyl CoA. Over here you have got the same enzyme alpha keto glutaryl dehydrogenase enzyme and again all these factors thiamine, lipoic acid, coenzyme A, FAD, NAD. It is so it is there in carbohydrate metabolism it is so important. Right? So this is CoA. It's covered into CoA. CoA that is pentothenic acid. This one is involved over here. This is coenzyme A. Yeah. Now, this was about carbohydrate metabolism. Now, talking about lipid metabolism. So I repeat again, pentothenic is widely distributed. And uh, it is a component of coenzyme A. It is in the form coenzyme A. And as coenzyme A, it has got a very important role in carbohydrate metabolism. Because in the metabolism, in the, break, in the uh, production of energy from glucose after glycolysis, when glucose enters the mitochondria, this is the first step from pyruvic acid to acetyl CoA. And then it becomes enter the citric acid cycle inside the mitochondria and in the citric acid cycle the next point where uh, endothenic acid or coenzyme A is involved is in the conversion alpha ketoglutaric acid to succinyl CoA so this is very important second it has got a role in lipid metabolism it has got a role in lipid metabolism this was about carbohydrate metabolism. The other role is in lipid metabolism. Lipid. So well, that is triacyl glycerol synthesis. And 
in beta oxidation and triacylglycerol synthesis it is a form of the enzyme complex which is present in the cytosol there are so many enzymes melanoid trans acylase acetyl trans acylase keto acyl synthase then you've got acyl carrier protein in the form of 4 dash phospho pentathene then you've got thio esterase ketoacyl reductase hydratase in oil reductase so this enzyme complex consists of seven enzymes melanoid transacylase acetyl transacylase ketoacyl synthase thiamine sprays has got acyl carrier protein hydrotase in oil reductase so this acyl carrier protein is pentothenic acid and in beta oxidation we have got the release of acetyl CoA if there is C16 palmitic acid we have got the release of 8 acetyl CoA and if it is C18 stearic acid then we have got 9 acetyl CoA so it has got so much important role in carbohydrate and lipid metabolism thank you good right so pentothenic acid is very much important in Metabolism. It's one of the B complex vitamins, also called B5. And the thing is that it is involved both in carbohydrate and lipid metabolism. It has got a very important role in this. So it's a very essential vitamin it's required by the body. Well, if it is, there is deficiency, if there is deficiency, well, you can have certain overall uh, effect in. Metabolism, the burning feet syndrome, not much specific, but it's the burning feet syndrome related to antithenic acid deficiency. But this is very rare because it's widely distributed. So I told you about the structure of antithenic acid and the coenzyme A and how it works. So it is involved in such essential parts of metabolism. Right.
So it is bent to acid. Yes. Now we are going to talk about vitamin A. Thank you.